Good morning. It's Leanne Peters here. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm sitting here with the dog because the dog's uh, some dog over there is just done barking its head off. Um, so I'm here to create a space of healing and support that I trust will support and help you um, today and now. Whenever it is that you're watching this, so if you're watching live or if you're watching the replay later, I trust that something shared supports you at this time. So welcome. I'm coming to you live from Tasmania, Australia. It is Sunday the 22nd? I think it is Sunday the 22nd at 8.20am. And I want to send out an extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. So my plan for this next 15, 20 sort of minutes is to work with my healing energy cards. I'm going to pull a card in just a moment. Oh, Summer, I'm so sorry. Sending you lots of love to you and your family. I'm going to be using my healing energy cards to pull a card to begin with and that's going to govern whatever our sort of theme is I suppose and then I will pull a card to go as well but that's later I've also got my smudge bowl here I want to do a bit of smudging and I've got my new drum I've just painted the dream weaver um, so she is going to be played today and I've just put her up on the website so she is available like literally about five or ten minutes ago so seems to be Sunday morning dog barking so hopefully they calm down soon and uh, they're not too annoying in the background and we get the birds coming through <laughs> or something <laughs> so uh, welcome to you so let's grab a card and see what it is that the majority of us need at this time so I'm not pulling cards for individuals this is general support and guidance for those of you who are drawn to be here, who happen to be here now or later on the replay. So I'm looking for the best card that the majority of us need at this time. And the best card that we need is this. Hi Joanna. We've got this, card 70. It says new power rising new power rising and it's in the rise category and down here it says you are the conqueror of obstacles bravery a tough situation has made you stronger or is making you stronger if you're still going through it resilience responsibility true power and momentum building and it does feel to be like a, there's a potency, almost like this is a potion somehow, like a, um, a medicine to drink of perhaps bravery, courage, strength at this time. There's also a musical feeling, like a rhythm to this as well, that feels like it wants to come through, like a, a rhythm, um, getting into a new uh, rhythm or, or new habits of accessing our personal power, our empowerment, our confidence, our ability to be brave and strong during, and sometimes it is during our most vulnerable times in our life. Because like I've said many times, and I really feel this to be true, is that it takes strength for us to be honest and vulnerable. It's easier to be strong and silent or quiet and, and silent. But there is, when we access that vulnerability and that honesty about how we really feel, or that honest, that truth inside, when we access that and we express it or verbalise it or even just hear that we feel that way for ourselves, it takes strength to do that. It takes strength to admit that we might be wrong, that we might not be perfect, that we might not be an angel. This is something I've been dealing with with other people lately is this sense of perfection that they think about themselves and when the truth is expressed 
uh, it, it can potentially shatter that world of perfection. So are you living honestly? I'd rather live honestly than live perfectly. And in fact, to me, in some way, to be honest is something, I don't, perfect's not quite the right word, but that is something I certainly strive for. And that's really important to me, is that honest, truthful living, being honest and true to myself. And honest and true in my interactions, of course. But I don't want to have those at a contradiction either. I don't want to be a hypocrite and expect that, you know, that uh, I'm truthful to everyone, but I'm not truthful to myself. I don't like that energy either. So, um, you know, I think we need to, what I've noticed lately in these last few days is we need to drop ourselves off the pegs, you know, drop ourselves off the pedestal a little bit if we're thinking quite highly of ourselves lately, especially in this perfection, angel, I'm right and you're wrong kind of um, mentality and be honest, be, be honest with ourselves. So that's probably part of this new power rising because um, to be dominant and to be forceful and to be nasty and to attack and to be uh, vicious because, um, because we might think our way is the best way and everyone should live our way. Um, it's not necessarily that healthy. So let's just keep perspective at this time as well as we let this new power rise up inside us. And maybe this new power is an honesty. It is a, a vulnerability. It is a... a um, an honest overview or reflection reflecting on ourselves and to let the arrogance and the um, the control that we might want to have go and let a gentler power a more honest power an honest I mean power Power is quite a good word, but in some ways it isn't either. <laughs> so, an empowerment, an honest empowerment rise up. So, let's do some smudging. How are you feeling today? Are you feeling okay? I'm feeling a little bit slow moving. I've had a big day yesterday and I'm happy with that. I'm just feeling really quite gentle. I like sitting out here in my... <laughs> my courtyard has expanded into like... Uh, four or five times the size of my courtyard so I can no longer really call it a courtyard uh, it's now more like some garden so it feels so good to be out here with the frogs I've got so many frogs it's not funny frogs everywhere so let's light um, a smudge stick and do some clearing we'll try it I don't have many matches left so let's just make sure it's going to stay alight Siobhan feels confused. That's interesting, isn't it? It's kind of, you know, sometimes an exciting place to be in, really, even though it's uncomfortable, because anything's kind of possible in some regards. Okay, I'm just lighting the sky. Just bear with me a second. So just take some nice big breaths. Take some nice big breaths as we ask this sacred smoke to wash over our bodies and carry away with it, with the smoke, carry away all negative energies, entities, cords, hooks, attacks and attachments. Anything that we're holding on to tightly to that's got no room to heal. Things that we know we need to let go of. Let's surrender it now and breathe it out in a way and let it go and let it go and let it go. So as you breathe out the old and the old air, you make room and space for the new air to come in. And sometimes, especially if you've got big things happening at the moment, 
Sometimes just stopping, catching your breath is enough. That's all you need. And sometimes that's all that we can really think about if we're going through something quite big and, and devastating. So nice big breaths. And if you're able to go a bit deeper, maybe take your breath further into your body. Like really follow it as it goes all the way in. How far can you take your breath into your body? Can you imagine it goes right down into your toes? And then as you breathe out, you draw it back up from your toes, through your body and out through your mouth or your nose or wherever you're breathing out of. Can you extend your breath even further from your body and maybe out through the soles of your feet and down into the earth as you collect some of that grounding stability and support from the earth and draw it back up into your body. Maybe you feel like you could expand your breath maybe more on the horizontal or more around you in sort of a 360 degree angle rather than down. So maybe you could try that, see if you can expand your breath out past your skin and out into the room or the air around you. As you breathe out, then you breathe that new air back in through your skin, like your skin is alive and you can breathe through your skin. <laughs> okay, we've got all sorts of weird things happening here. And some type of beetle. Come and say hello. <laughs> Okay, so nice relaxing breath now. Let's go into some drumming. We don't usually have that many dogs around here, <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. Maybe the neighbour has left Fetal sitting on my shoulder. A little golden beetle which aligns with power. And it's got its wings up, it's ready to fly. Hopefully it might fly somewhere else this time. But golden. That connects with our solar plexus and our personal power. Alright, let's play the drum. This is my new dream weaver drum. And she connects with the air element, which is the mind. So let's think about, perhaps, unless there's something more pressing that you need is to bring uh, maybe an awareness to our mind and what we're thinking, what's going on in our mind, what we're thinking, but also what we're saying, because that can also be a bit of a clue as to what we're really feeling or thinking on the inside. Let's give attention and awareness to that and recognise whether those thoughts that we're thinking at the moment are healthy and supportive or whether they're unhealthy and unsupportive. That's, these are the key words I use to determine uh, if something in my mind, instead of using positive or negative, because to me that doesn't really encompass what I'm looking for when I'm trying to sort my mind out. So I find it more helpful and realistic and practical instead of going, okay, is this a positive thought? Is this a negative thought? Just seems quite uh, there's quite a polarity there. To me, it feels more practical and reliable for me to ask myself: Is that thought supportive or unsupportive for me? Is it healthy or unhealthy for me? And this is what I ask myself and ask the thought so that I can determine. If it's unhealthy and unsupportive, I want to get that thought out. I don't want it to take up space in my head. If it's supportive and healthy, then I want to welcome that. So maybe notice what's going on in your mind. And um, are you in the driver's seat of your mind or is your mind and your stress and what you've got going on in the driver's seat and you're in the back seat? Of course, if you've got something big going on at the moment you might just need to catch your breath and go gently so this might be too much for you and that's okay so take a nice big breath and there's nothing you can do wrong um, just listen and allow the sound of the drum to support you and whatever it is that you need right now 
actually the drum doesn't sound good on this microphone I'm going to pin it away so I'll talk to you when I'm done Thank you. I think we increased the dog chorus. Some more dogs joined in. But I do trust that it wasn't too distracting and that you've been able to enjoy the drum and some quiet time. So my Dreamweaver drums just been put on my website. I haven't shared anywhere else that it's up yet except for here. And if you've just joined in, we were playing the drum and I was smudging with this energy in mind new power rising so rising it implies that it wants to come up from inside maybe a confidence maybe you want to push yourself to the next level maybe you want to learn something new maybe you want to challenge yourself and see what you're truly capable of because only you only we can determine that for ourselves so whatever you're feeling as far as your current level of strength your current level of confidence your current level of power, we could say, or empowerment, if that's on the low end of the scale, the high end of the scale, the mid scale, where are you sitting right now on that? If there, if it was a scale of, say, 1 to 10, how powerful, how confident, how courageous, how strong are you currently feeling? And it will also tie in with clarity because clarity and confidence go together. So if you're feeling confused and unclear, you're probably not going to feel that high on a scale of strength, let's say, of, of uh, emotional, energetic, maybe even physical strength. And maybe you can divide them if you're not feeling that physically strong, but you might be feeling quite mentally strong, then maybe you can uh, pull apart that strength scale, physical strength, emotional, mental, maybe you can bundle it in, depends what space you're in so whatever you, wherever you're at right now you know there's a strength to in calm I wouldn't say that's lacking in strength but I'd say confusion and lack of clarity 
uh, and feeling scattered or scared, that would probably be quite low on some scale. But it's up to us to determine where we might sit if we were going to look at it in that way. I've not looked at my it in that way. It's just kind of coming to mind now, but it could be something interesting to do. So with this new power rising suggests that there is, if we assign wherever we might be sitting on this scale, if that's something we can sort of do roughly at this time, have you got room to move? Is there room to rise here in your strength, in your power, your empowerment, your confidence, your clarity? Is there room to grow? So how could you grow that? How could you push yourself? I think, too, it's important to talk about here, well, it's important to me, it may not be important to you, but it may be, is that I find if I'm too, you know, if I'm like 10, I try and keep myself backed off really from that and maybe a consistent 8. I'm really happy with that if I'm reasonably consistently at 8. I might go down some days, up some days, but reasonably consistently at that. I don't know that I really want to be at 10. Because to, 10 to me would be uh, moving into that ego zone. You know, that self, being self-centered and feeling like the earth and the world and everything revolves around me, which I don't like having that. I don't like feeling that. In fact, a couple of times when I've won a few awards for various things on a weekend, I'm like up at 10 because, you know, like, oh, this is really nice. I've worked hard for this. I'm getting praise. You know, it feels good. And then it's, I've got to then sort of um, just cut myself from everything to get off the 10. I don't like being up there for very long at all. It feels really uncomfortable because I don't want to be governed and pulled by ego. I don't want to be self-centered. And that's just something important to me. Other people might say, well, you know, you could be up there at 10, but no, not for me. I've seen a lot of people who have not been that confident and they've then taken it to the extreme and they've become very arrogant and I don't particularly like that energy for, for me. I don't like feeling that. Um, so I'm going to pull a card to go. I trust that something here has been helpful for you and supportive for you at this time. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have enjoyed this video, um, please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment and, or share if you're inspired to. And if you want to connect more privately, please send us a message through our website. Uh, so the drum is on the website, the Dreamweaver drum. Have a look if you're inspired to. Also, Facebook's massively suppressing my post, which is nothing new. Um, but I do have three spots left for video readings for February. I don't really offer readings in this way. It's just four in a month. And one's been claimed, but people not really coming over. So I think that the link's not either working or people aren't seeing it. So usually it, they go pretty quickly. So there's still three spots at this point for February reading, if you want one. I vi a video one, I share the link to you on YouTube. It's private. And uh, we go into your February and your potential February. So have a look on my website. It's under... Uh, so templeofbalance.com.au it's under the store tab and you'll see like a February limited sale or something because they, don't, they only come up uh, about four of them once a month so if I'm not too busy let's grab a card to go I'm looking for the best card that the majority of us need right now to go so especially based on what we've talked about today how can we carry that into our life how can we make it count how can we make it practical and, and doable and helpful for us in our life? The best card for what's next is this. Ooh. Okay, this is card 78, reality. And it's in the depth category here. Down here it says, processing what happened. Past, emergency, urgent, sudden, chaos, difficulty, painful, a one-off event, change. Look for the good in the bad. So I drew this the night my workshop burned down in 2019. And I drew it from some charred out, burned out um, shovel handles or something. And these are all the emergency sirens. This is this is a confronting, um, urgent energy. And some of us 
some of you, you may be in a state where some urgent things are going on and it's a difficult time period for you and it's a one-off event you're just trying to deal with, get your head around and, and work your way through it. And, you know, it's just one step at a time through that. Um, as far as moving on and moving forward in the next sort of 24-ish hours, we've been encouraged, I feel, that the, any messy situations in our life that we're currently dealing with, that we try and look for the good in that bad, potentially, situation, or we try and look for some little glimmer of hope or some... Um, even, you know, looking at the simple things to be grateful for, that things could have been worse, potentially, or... Um, you know, just seeing if we can look at this situation from another perspective might be helpful. And um, I think also the re reminder to ourselves, the reassurance that we're not alone while we're going through whatever it is that we're going through right now. So the reality of what's happened may be sinking in or maybe not sinking in if it's very new. But there is this sense of, what is the reality here that, you know, oh, no dog. Um, you know, what is the real reality of what's happened? You know, sometimes it takes a little bit for reality to really sink in and to hit us that, oh, actually, this has changed now in my life. And there might be an element of grief with that, you know, of real grief. Ah, yeah, something that we didn't probably really want to happen has maybe happened. And it might be something huge. It might be something maybe not so huge, but it is potentially a big deal for us. So it does feel like an element of grief here. And it could be regarding a person. It could be re regarding change that we maybe ha are moving and we didn't really want to move. Or maybe things have changed in our relationship and our future and, and what we thought our future was going to look like is not like that now. So we've got to come to terms with, with the reality of what's been happening. So there might be an element of grief and we may feel emotional. And I feel like from that new power rising card is if we can stay um, honest and vulnerable when we feel that, but also strong when we need to be and confident and and trusting that we're going to get through this and that we're not alone and trying not to push away and uh, push away the facts of what's happened or where we find ourselves right now where we might not really want to be um, but come to terms with the reality the truth of what we see around us and where we find ourselves now um, so there is an element too of acceptance potentially here of what's happened, whatever that might be on whatever level. So that's a bit of a tough one and potentially quite strong, brutal energy at the moment for some of us, which may be why I'm feeling like I just want to sort of be a bit gentle today. So see how you go. Thanks so much for connecting. Sending you lots of love, especially if you're going through something quite difficult right now. And I will be back to connect with you again soon. Take care of yourself. And goodbye for now. <laughs>